the use of um, characters, Japanese characters, at heritage sites um, for the promotion of uh, heritage events, historic events, uh, became very popular recently, very recently, I would say, because that, um, I would say, began with the use of one specific character, which was Iconium, that you can see also in the exhibition. Um, this character was uh, devised in 2006 for the promotion of the anniversary event that would begin in 2007. And this event was intended to promote the anniversary, 700th anniversary of the Hikone Castle. So um, this Hikone uh, was devised in 2006 and he was immediately uh, adapted in various forms of heritage commodities. And Hikonen also travelled um, in various parts of Japan, partly to promote uh, this uh, anniversary in Hikone city. But that led uh, many other um, towns and cities in Japan to realise that the use of this, what we call Yurukara, which literally, literally means uh, loose characters, could be a good way of promoting uh, the history and also the um, identity of each of these uh, uh, local cities. And the, probably the most famous Yurukara that has ever uh, emerged in Japan is Sentoku, which you can also see in the exception. Um, when Sentoku was devised, he uh, was not very popular. He was not very popular amongst especially Buddhist monks because they thought that uh, he was insulting Buddha because uh, Sentokun, this his shape was based on the iconography of uh, Buddhist statues, so the monks uh, were not very happy about that. And in Sentokun, you can also see the emperors of deer. Um, although Sentokun wasn't very um, popular amongst the Buddhist monks, because of this um, criticism, which was uh, largely reported in the mainstream media, ironically, he became very famous and also very popular. And so, in other words, just because the monks um, didn't like him, he became all the more popular and famous. And he was immediately commodified, uh, commodified. and so again he appeared in the various sorts of heritage products. Um, com products. Previously, uh, most of the members of the public in Japan felt that uh, historical sites and archaeological sites were places for um, the only a small uh, number of um, of uh, facts of history, let's say. Only those who um, had particular interest in the history of Japan. Um, so, but uh, since the local authorities who managed these archaeological sites and heritage uh, buildings um, spent um, public funds, basically the taxpayers' money, they thought that they should do more to attract um, uh, the, the, those who would not visit these heritage sites. So they came up with this idea of using Yurukala, uh, those characters, to attract these um, different types, of, new types of audience, and especially um, young people. And that was a time, that was a period in which um, Ivonia made a huge commercial uh, and social success. Uh, that's why many local authorities nowadays try to use those characters to promote their history as well as um, their 